privacy, anonymity, or just keeping the focus on the story. There are plenty of reasons why you want to blur someone's face. This is Phil Kalman, I'm Hayden, and this is Cinematography. We are going to hop into the color page of DaVinci, and yes, you can do this in the free version. For this video, I just have a cop walking a guy that got arrested. As you can tell, the guy's moving, the camera's moving, so we're gonna have to track this. This is actually really easy to do, so just make sure you're on the very first frame of your clip, and we're going to go over to our windows, which if you don't see those, they're right here. Just click this icon, and we're gonna add a circle. And now all you have to do is just scale it down by clicking these points and get it down to their face, and you can actually squeeze it a little bit and you can zoom in i'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse click and hold scroll wheel just to move around you can grab this point right here and turn it just to rotate you can also do that down here you have your size pan rotate all that kind of stuff once you get it on their face we're going to come to our tracker which is located right here next to our window and depending on your shot you're going to have some of these checked. Now, by default, all of them are gonna be checked. So for this particular video, we're actually gonna have all of these turned on. Now, if you're not getting a good result, just turn off a couple of these and give it another try and see how it works for your video. All you have to do is just hit the track forward button. And you'll notice that this actually kept on his face pretty good. And it even tilted and rotated with every little head movement he did. So now that we're happy with our track, all we have to do is come up to our effects tab and if you don't see that, it's just right up here, effects, and we will search for blur, and we're looking for the mosaic blur, if you want that classic face blur, and just drag and drop that onto your node, and you'll see that their face is pixelated. And with this, it is keeping a similar scale, so the closer it gets, the more definition you're actually gonna see. You can obviously go into the settings, just adjust that, so like our frequency, the bigger we make it, the more detail we're seeing in the face. Obviously, the smaller we make it, the more blocks we're gonna see, but uh, about right here, it's pretty good for this one. And you can actually change the shape if you wanna be a little fancy with it. You can do hexagon or triangle, but I'm just gonna leave it with a good old square. So that's how you can add a bit of privacy to your videos by tracking someone and adding mosaic blur to their face. If you found value in this, leave a like on the video and check out one of these videos popping up right here that the algorithm thinks you would like to watch next. Until next time, off we to see.